Be serious while he brief you. Right. Be silent. Don't Be talk. Silent. Any doubts? At the end of the briefing, you can just ask. Okay, yeah, me Kumar. Me so this is called three cross tips. One is air flow. This is called um, the ground on the air flow. This is called cell balling wrap. The cell balling means see on the corner very small hole. There's a hundred holes. All right. Sometimes if you water is came coming inside the wrap. At that time, don't be scared, you guys. You have to be making your seat. Don't be fall out from the your place. All right. So this is a called paddles also. It looks like a one here, but it's there is a three part, right? This is called T grip, right? And thumb goes under the T, make a four fingers grip. Right? Everybody and grip it, please. Sab. Yeah. So this is called sab here, one hand and the, on the sab, this is called blade. The blade used on the water, not going whole, uh, whole part of the sab, not to go, 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 go inside the water. Above the blade, you have to do one hand, right? So how do you treat you guys? Don't be try to be sit on the middle here. That's not the place to sit. Okay, looks like you'll be chicken. Not on the floor. Right, you can't feel, feel enjoy. Lost. Right. So always sit on the side. On the edge, there's a four side. Two side here. If this is called right, that's the left. And the two people sit to the front. The rest of the two also in the behind the front. And the four people. Your guy always sitting to the back side. Because he's going, that guy is going to be controlled to the rack. Right, and one line here, that's a white line, it's called lifeline, someone calls, but the lifeline, but I call chicken line, but for me only, not for you guys. The chicken line, very important for you guys. This, uh, this is chicken line, it's a wooden here, this is called lifeline. Okay, swimmer or non-swimmer, very important. In case you'll be fall out, you hold on to the line. Right, so how do you sit you guys? Don't be sit under like a cabin. You will be chances to fall out. You can't feel uh, comfortable. Try to do peace seat always in the side. Bump has to be goes little on the back side. Make sure you sit on the edge. Not to inside to the like that. If you're doing the paddle also doing like this, looks like a kukra, like a chicken. You, need to, you have to be a little energy. You have to expand your energy. Make sure you sit on the side. Very feel comfortable. Lock your legs in the properly to here. There's one step also here. Better to not to use. If you want to be used, just one of thumb, uh, the toes to use here, right? So there's a quite bigger hole here. If you hold, your legs goes inside, or your feet goes inside, sometimes you'll be fall out. At that time, you're hanging to the on the wrap. Basically, what you mean to say is, don't stuck your leg in. Just thumb should be, it should be supporting your feet or toe. Okay. okay. So, and guys say first come on. If you guys say first come on, forward. If you're on the water, it's very little you have to be able to expand your energy. And the ground's very easy, but on the water you have to be more, move your little more power. Right. If you guys say forward paddle, not so far from the tube, it's on too comfortable, not so close to the tube. Be careful, there is one iron here, you have to be safe in nails, and one is the handle here. Above the, the chamber, right? So first come and guide to forward, upper body. You have to use the upper body, lean your whole body. To the pull back, make your hands in the stadium, make a vertical and pull back. The whole blood has to be go inside, right? And all back, if you are guys, say all back paddle, what do you do, you guys? Stop, support to here and lock your leg nice and properly. If you want to be take it out from the corner, you'll be chances to go fall out in the back side. Has to be locked always, right? And the blade has to be a little on the back side during the back to front. That's called all back paddle. That can synchronize each other, same timing, the rhythm. And don't be feel you guys. I pay the money, the guide has during for everything. If you're feeling that this thing, better to not to go rafting. It's like a teamwork. Right. So if you guys say stop paddle, don't lose your paddle on the water and don't be tight to the hold on the like this. It's a very um, uh, uncomfortable, better to always take it out from the water, not on your lap. Right? So don't be holding into the paddles. If you're holding the into the paddles, what happens? Sometimes my wrap goes bang to the stone, sometimes fly out your paddles and hit your friends also. Very dangerous. Even yourself. Better to hold over the paddles, doesn't come out from the arms. Right. And don't be trying to lose your T grip. If you try to lose your T grip, sometimes the water is hit you on the blade. You bang your face itself. Be careful. This is for all safety for you guys. Okay, so in the river, it's not going to be making state that there is no state river. 
like a snake typer, right, left, right, left. We use for some time to write back. If you guide the right back person who sit to the right, that people during the backwards, or the, on the left people during the forward, <laughs> it's an easy to turn to the right side. Right, right back means all right. The same in the opposite side. If you guide the left back, the person who sit to the left, that people during the backwards to turn to the left side. Okay, so sometimes guide say over right. Why you need to over right? Sometimes wrap goes stuck to the sideways in the vertical. At that time, we use for override because well, we're not going to try to flip the wrap. That's why don't try to be stand up. If you want to stand up, you sometimes wrap goes bumping very easy to fall, uh, fall out from the wrap. Has to be sit your place. At upper body, you have to be moving with your parallel T grip, right? The T grip in your on the right side, the your legs fit on the on the same your place. So you have only for one second.